Hi everyone, welcome to the vlog. So I didn't get a chance to go to the farmer's market today just because I just didn't feel good after my workout. I did 12, 3, 30 and then I also did 8K steps. I didn't do 10 just because I got in a car accident last week and my back is actually killing me. I ended up getting rear-ended in Long Beach while I was trying to get together with my mom so that was kind of like hectic. So my back has been killing me since. Um, I have to cancel pretty much all of my Legree sessions and just do really light cardio because I can't do anything that's like going to have me <laughs> be twisted and turned in different positions. We're gonna take a little bit of a break from Legree. Yeah, I just wanna film my get ready with me. I have a few packages to show you guys. I got some things in. I did place an order on Zara, but just spoiler alert, I don't like half the things that i got so i'm gonna return like half of it i think i'm gonna keep one thing so i'll show you guys what it is let's go ahead and film the get ready with me i kind of already did my hair i've been using k18 and honestly it feels amazing on my hair it's so nice and soft so i've really been liking that but let's go ahead and film the get ready with me and then i'll show you guys my outfit and everything of course but that'll be in a separate video that's not in this video so i'll catch you guys after i'm done filming that okay i just finished filming the get ready with me i'm so happy that's done and over with i never really know what to talk about because i've done so many of those and i feel like sometimes the same subject kind of overlaps but i feel like my thoughts about certain subjects change every single day so i think it's always important to kind of update you guys you know i'm not gonna wear this sweater to dinner i don't think no let's not do that let's not do that also i wanted to note that this top is a boys extra large so i love the way that it fits there's so much room in it i kind of want to get the white one as well i think it's a good fit it has enough space this is the girls extra large and i think the the way that they structured the sweater is obviously more flattering for girls because it kind of goes in at the waist and it looks much more flattering but this is pretty small and my shoulders are pretty broad. I have like pretty strong shoulders, so I can't get away with wearing like smaller girls stuff. So that kind of sucks, but I think the girls one, the fit is obviously a little bit better. I did purchase this one in an extra large as well and I'm gonna return it. From Zara, I got this strapless, I don't even know how this goes. This is the first top that I got from Zara. It's like a strapless asymmetrical top i got it in a size small and i don't know if you can really see how it looks like with the shorts but i don't think it's bad i just don't think i don't like the way it looks without a bra and like obviously i have one on so like it looks fine but i feel like it's just not i don't know i like that it covers like my arm fat as well that's like such a huge insecure insecurity of mine also my waist is small but I don't know, I just don't know if I really like the way this looks. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you think. My body dysmorphia is so bad, like, I don't even know if this looks okay on me. Like, I feel like it looks, I don't know, just, like, not flattering. Like, I don't know if I'm really seeing this the way that it's translating on camera, but... Anyway, this is what this top looks like. It does have a zipper here, and so I think that's kind of helpful if it doesn't fit you, like, if you can't get it over your head. So that's what that looks like. I also want to note that I ended up picking up these, like, shawls or, like, I don't know, what do you call them? Ponchos? Ponchos? I think it's called a cape on the website. I think it's a poncho, no? <laughs> I don't think that's what it's called on the website. But anyway, I got it in, like, this black color. It looks black, but I feel like it looks great, like, in person. It's not a true black. And then I also got it in cream. I'm not going to try this on because... It has so much static and I don't think I like this. I think these are going back. They were like 50 bucks each. There was one that I think came in last season, last year, and people loved it and so many people were wearing it on Instagram. So I tried finding one similar and this was the one that I found, but I really don't like them. They're really itchy. They're just not comfortable. I don't think it's going to keep you warm. It's acrylic and polyester, I believe, so it's just not a great material. I don't know. I'm just not loving it. Like, I think I get the concept. I really do get it, but I just... The vision is just not coming to life. And the ones that the girls were wearing on TikTok and Instagram just looked a lot more flattering and it was just prettier and it came with like matching pants. Just not loving this. And it's very itchy, very, very itchy. I hate this. This is the last top that I got. I think my total came out to 181, I think. Yeah, 181. I think this is $30. Yeah, 35. This one was 29. Oh, they're gonna think I wore it because it's like creased right here. I don't know if I'm gonna return that. And then these two 
both of them were $50 each. This one I think I actually kind of like. I actually had it hung up in my closet already. I like the asymmetrical kind of thing going on. I think it looks better with contrast. So definitely with some black shorts, that's like ideal how I would wear it. I've been wearing my YSL bag lately. So I think that like ties in the whole look and it just looks better. That's like one of my favorite bags. I really like it. If you have a little bit of a pooch, I think it'll kind of hide it. If you need that to be honest uh, my stomach is pretty flat so not a problem there but yeah i think it's really flattering i like it i like the cut and the look of it but when i saw it on the model i honestly was not sure but i kind of like how it's a little bit more conservative whereas it covers your bust area because i feel like a lot of the asymmetrical tops are like low cut or they're strapless like that one although i I don't hate that one, but I feel like I'm gonna wait for you guys to give me your opinion on that. Like, I like this color, but I think with the white shorts with it, it's just not, it just doesn't go. Actually, let me see. Let me see. I think with my green pants, it would look super cute with my Goyard. That would be really cute. I kind of like this. Does it look like one of those like Greek, I don't know, costumes or something? Cause I kind of, I kind of don't like how you can like see that it's like not lined here. I would rather take it to someone and have them just like sew it up here. So there's not like so much of this, but it's kind of just like annoying to pay for something to get altered with when it's so cheap already. Yeah, like this is not like sewn down. It's just kind of like loose. So it's kind of annoying. I think it makes it look cheaper like with that. If you're in a darker area, you can't tell if it's daylight outside, you can. It's really up to you, but I think I'm gonna keep this top. I kind of like it. I like the one, the one shoulder thing going on. I think it's very like classy. Even though your arms are showing, I still feel like it covers a lot and enough for it to not look like slutty or anything. I think this is pretty good. I'm gonna wait and see like what events I have coming up and see if I like need a dress for them. Those are all the things that I got from Zara. And then like I showed you guys the sweaters from Ralph Lauren. I think I'm gonna throw this in the wash because I think it got dirty when it was on the floor. I have had this unboxed for a week now <laughs> and I haven't shown you guys. I went ahead and changed. I just put on the same clothes that I had on before. But I wanted to show you guys this package from Lancome. I got so many goodies. These are Mary Phillips' favorites. So she did send them out to a handful of content creators. And I'm so excited to try them. A few of the things I feel like I have already tried. But I saw these in Sephora when I was actually going to grab more things from the sale. And these are the Lancome Juicy Tubes. They actually did not have these in stock. And I was so sad because the packaging is so nostalgic. It's very, very 90s. <laughs> These are what they look like. Super classic, like little juicy lip glosses like from back in the day. So cute. Jazzy wanted the pink one, so I'm going to save that one from her. This one is a really nice pinky shade. Uh, I'm just going to put it on top of here. It even, it even smells like like strawberries it's so so nice well that's a really pink shade i also got a couple of mascaras this one is the hypnos drama this one's always a fan favorite and then also got the monsieur big this one i actually tried out yesterday along with the seals booster xl this is a lash primer so really like that and my curl actually stayed pretty well i would say it didn't really fall as much as it usually does i would usually have to curl it again midday but i didn't have to do that so I think the primer really worked, although I didn't use it today. We also got a black eyeliner. This is just a classic black liner from Lancome. It's one of their best sellers, and I think the application is really interesting. It's kind of like a, I don't know if you guys can see that. It's like a silicone kind of tip, and then you just dip it in the product and it comes out. But it's super waterproof because I tried to wash it off twice yesterday, and it was so hard. I had to get an oil-based makeup remover to remove it. We also have some pencil liners. So this one is the French Chocolate Matte. I love, love, love brown eyeliners. You guys know that's all I've been using. So really happy to have this one. And this one is really creamy. So it comes with a black 
cap like that it looks like that it's so sleek so nice and these are actually really long wearing as well so i really like that and i can never have enough brown eyeliners i also like using them for like wing if i'm missing my liquid liner or if i want something a little bit softer and then this is a brown liquid liner which i am obsessed with i love brown liquid liners just as much as i like brown eyeliners so it has a brown tip like that so you guys can see that i am obsessed with brown for the eyes we also have a makeup primer it definitely feels like a silicone base primer but i like how it feels i think it feels really nice and soft we also have a lipstick this is in the shade french idol and it's in this like wine red color so pretty and i love the packaging so you just click it and it comes out like that look at that shade that is so pretty it's coming off a little bit more bright in the like on camera but in person it's a little bit deeper that's such a pretty shade i think it's great for like on the go if you love a red lip i actually want to start getting into it because i love red lips for winter time and i think it's so pretty and then we also got the lancome water makeup remover as well as a lancome genifique i love this serum so much it's so good i have a huge bottle i think i have a 2.5 fluid ounce and then i have a one fluid ounce in my travel makeup bag so i cannot live without this i'm so excited to have a little tiny one i love this product so much and then last but not least we also got some like little mini sunscreens i love having this in my bag just to reapply i think it's really great especially if you are hiking and whatnot it's really nice to just have these on the go and you can just reapply whenever you need to so that is everything thank you so much lancome for this package it was so kind of you and i can't wait to try everything we went to Asteria labuca for dinner and this was actually such a nice dinner and the price was i think was pretty reasonable i think everything came out to under 200 with tip so i think it was pretty worth it and we got quite a lot of food we got two appetizers two mains and then also a pizza and the inside is super small and just really nice and cozy and they do have valet here in case you guys are interested you can find street parking sometimes but it's not available all the time so for our starters we got the meatballs and these were so good they came with three of them and i ate one and they also have parmesan cheese on top this was so yum i love meatballs i don't know why they're just so good especially if you're not getting a main dish with bread meat this is honestly the star of the show their ricotta with honey and their little baguette pieces it is so delicious i will eat this over and over again we also got the ragu this one was super yum and it wasn't dry i feel like a lot of ragus are actually pretty dry we also got the carbonara this one was super yum it comes with a yolk on top and it's like slightly poached so that's always really nice and this was super creamy really really rich definitely share this with like three people it is so much food and then the pizza was so good i think it would have been even better with hot honey but it was still delicious nonetheless hi guys sorry if you can hear the washer but i am washing some of my gym clothes because i didn't have a chance to do that this past week i wanted to show you guys what i ended up getting from sephora it's just a few things not that many i didn't end up buying as much as i thought i was going to and then the things that i wanted to get for gifts were like completely sold out by the time i had the chance to like sit down and order things because i was actually in montecito when the sale happened so i wasn't really like online actively like on my computer or anything so i'm really bummed about that i'm just hoping black friday sales are a little bit better but anyway i got the summer fridays for pack of the minis and i ended up giving this one away and then i have these i do already have these in the full version and then i just was able to try this one out i don't particularly like love it i don't think you absolutely need this i think if you just get one you're good to go my favorite personally is this one this one is the vanilla beige it's like my favorite one i love the original one as well of course and yeah i don't really have an opinion on the brown sugar it's just like I don't know whatever I, I don't know just lip balms i ended up getting another shiseido eyelash curler because i left mine at the montecito house so i had to get another one because i literally cannot live without it look at my lashes they are so long i also got a kerastase elixir and this one is the oil and i wanted to try this out because a lot of people recommended it and a lot of people were like boycotting gisu because of Negan's comment about Palestine but then she did end up she did end up realizing the tragedy in Gaza so I think it's a good thing that like she was able to learn from it but a lot of people are still not buying her stuff or like throwing them out I don't know if I really have an opinion I think I just 
ran out of it and um, I'm kind of like up in the air about how I feel about her stance initially but I think it's great that she was able to learn from it so anyway I don't really have an opinion on that but I just wanted to try out the care sauce everyone said this is like one of the best products to use and then when I was in Vegas the spa at the MGM actually has Kerastase in their store so I thought I would try this out I also got a K18 you guys I don't know if I already talked about this on the vlog or if I did it in like a get ready with me but I love this I feel like it's completely transformed my hair my hair feels so much softer so much silkier like so much smoother I wouldn't say silky like I think just smoother and I love the way that it feels, so I'm very happy I picked this up and gave it a shot because I wasn't going to and I had no... I didn't really like think, oh, I need a hair mask or anything, so I'm really glad that I ended up trying this out and it is in my bathroom. And I use it every time after I shower. You're not supposed to use conditioner on your hair when you do use this. And I just like rub it in my palms and then I'll just apply it to my hair. I'm able to see where I'm applying the product. Sorry, Luna's playing with this bag. Last but not least, I did pick up the Say Modern Lipstick. They call this a lip blur, matte blurring lipstick, but I feel like it's pretty opaque. It's what I have on my lips right now, but I did put a lip liner under it. So I just like dab it like that. And then on top of it, I put the Dior lip oil, but I've never used this on its own. I don't think I like how it looks on its own, but the formula is nice. Sorry guys, Luna knocked over the camera, but last but not least, I did repurchase an hourglass concealer. And it was so funny because I actually had him do a Sephora run for me. And then he came back with like the wrong products, even though I wrote them down on a piece of paper. So like this, he ended up bringing like a hair mask, which was like more expensive. And I was just like, that's not what I asked for. And the paper was very specific and then he brought me back the hourglass concealer and he's like Oh, this was only like a shade lighter So I didn't think it would be a difference and I and I put the shade on the back of my hand and it looked the same I was like, okay, but the undertones were not the same. He ended up picking me up like birch I think the shade was or I don't remember what it was called But anyway, I ended up exchanging those and then obviously I did end up getting the hair oil that I wanted But I thought that was so cute even though you go with like a piece of paper that says the exact product and I was like, oh, maybe I should have put the color like of the packaging on it, but yeah, it didn't work out. But I just thought that was really funny. Anyway, so those were the things that I got from the Sephora sale. And then I want to show you guys a pair of boots that I actually picked up for autumn. I'm so excited. These are my first pair of like designer boots. So, so mine came in this huge box. This is a Stuart Weitzman box. They all come in this color, which is so gorgeous. I've never purchased Stuart Weitzman. Stuart Weitzman, can I speak? Stuart Weitzman boots before, but for autumn, these were just like the perfect pair that I thought would go well with my wardrobe. So let me show you guys. This is what they look like, just very basic, very brown. I wanted like a dark brown color of like riding boots that weren't anything crazy. They had some that had like a piece of leather like I don't know like the toe cap looked like it was kind of like sewn separately but I didn't really like that I love these I love that it's just very simple straight to the point it's just a black um black sole here and then it's just brown these are called the Henley boots Henley boots I believe and they have like two different styles in the name of the boot so I would recommend this one it's just very simple let me try it on for you guys so you guys can see what they look like on I'm gonna put on an outfit though what it looks like you need the vision the vision for sure I do still have the black tank under but if I had a white one I feel like it would look better these are what the boots look like on also it came with the pink dust bag and then these are what they look like from the side like I don't know I'll insert pictures as well because I feel like it's gonna photograph differently than like obviously on video i look like i have knock knees but my knees are just fat so please don't stop stop literally stop so i don't know when i take the picture it'll maybe look like my legs are longer so we'll see but yeah i don't know i like them i like how they look this is exactly what i wanted it's an eight and a half in european size it's a size eight in us and it's pretty true to size um i could have probably gone half a size up if i want to wear like thick socks but i'm in la so it doesn't matter just for the look so this is what it looks like from the side i don't know hi guys so it is about 10 p.m and i'm gonna get unready and head to bed i am exhausted and my back is hurting like crazy so i'm gonna put a hot pad 
underneath when I'm sleeping and see if that helps. Um, I have to look over some contracts for work before the morning, so I'm gonna do that while I lay in bed. And my hair did not end up staying like curly, I think because I actually put quite a bit of oil in it. I put two pumps of the Gisu and I have the 1.7 fluid ounce, so it might have been a bit much on top of the carrot keratin on top of the k18 that i used but my hair feels so soft and it feels so good i'm also going to add some more oil at the bottom i always like doing that before i go to bed because i feel like it really helps it and my hair has definitely gotten way healthier over the last few months i think the k18 really really helps it because of the properties that are in there and i basically rub my hands until it's white like i've seen in videos and then i will just apply it just so i can see where it's distributing and then after that you have to leave it alone for four minutes and then you can put whatever other product you want on look at her so i've been loving that and i really really feel like it works it's like one of my favorite products right now and i went on sephora to see if i can get another bottle but it's out of stock so i'm gonna try to go tomorrow to grab one just before dinner i love how my hair looks right now i feel like it looks so good i just did a blowout with my bangs because that's the only way that I'm able to curl them right now for them to look good and in my hair I just curled it but obviously it's falling let's go to the bathroom I'll show you guys the products that I use sorry I do not have the tripod in here so we're gonna have to work with this little makeshift angle that we have going on I know it's not the most flattering but it's okay I usually like to just clip my hair back and then because of my bangs I do have to use this Initially, I was going to show you guys my full like skincare routine and go into depth, but then the video would have been like 40 minutes long, so I decided to chop that and I will do a separate video on my nighttime skincare routine because I feel like I've definitely gotten rid of my hyperpigmentation and I've gotten a few questions about that, so this is just kind of like a slight run through. To me, it's very simple just because I can do it blindfolded, but that's pretty much what I was doing here. Thank you guys so much for sticking around for my nighttime skincare routine and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!